Good morning, viewers. You're right now live on Majesty Christian Television Network. My name is Apostle Larry, uh, and I have here with me a very special guest and friend, uh, Pastor Anaba. And together we will be um, coming to you in the Open Heaven Prayer segment. As you know, uh, this is the third month running. We are running this uh, program uh, whereby we come together at the beginning of the month to declare an open heaven, to make prophetic declarations, and to pray concerning our nation, concerning our churches, concerning our families. And we want you out there to be a part of it uh, by uh, joining in the prayer, but also feel free to call in and to and to, and to ask for prayer or to express some comments uh, regarding the open heaven. Remember, an open heaven uh, simply connotes the fact that God is smiling upon us. Heaven is favorably disposed towards us and that we are enjoying God's presence. That's what it means the, uh, in a nutshell. And so we are asking that you become a part of this and, and join us as we proceed. I'd like to make a short prayer, offer a short prayer, and then we'll take our Father once again. Thank you. Uh, let this broadcast take off and let it be a blessing. We pray that the impact of it shall be felt, Amen. that the life shall be touched and transformed because of the power of the name of Jesus Christ. We cover ourselves in the blood. We cover the studio in the blood. We cover Amen. the viewers out there in the blood. We Amen. pray that there shall be a connection of faith Amen. and a connection of spirit. The Lord God, our prayers shall reach the highest heavens, Amen. that we may experience the mercy of the Lord in this time and in this season for our nation, our city, our Amen. families, and everything that we are doing under the sun. Amen. To you be the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Anaba, let me welcome you officially Thank to you. Majesty Christian Television Amen. Uh, and to this segment of uh, um, an open heaven. Uh, let me just uh, take off by reading uh, uh, Luke chapter 3. The verse uh, 21. It says, When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. Mm -hmm. And as he was praying, heaven opened. And the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice from heaven, and a voice came from heaven, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I, I suppose the heaven doesn't just open every time and anyhow. There must be certain things which trigger uh, an open heaven. Yes. Uh, and this is what we want to talk about today. A man of God, can you tell us what an open heaven is and what it can do for us and for our families, our churches, our, our nation? Okay. Yes. When uh, we talk of open heavens, yes. When you go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter eleven, mm -hmm. from verse from verse eleven coming down, yeah, he said, "I will give you the first wind and the latter rain." Uh -huh. In other words, when heaven opens, yeah. blessing comes. Amen. But before heaven will open, mm -hmm. man has to be obedient unto God. Amen. So mm -hmm. as soon as we Christians become obedient, mm -hmm. heaven opens automatically. Mm -hmm. And when heaven opens, God pours His blessing upon His people. Amen. And the blessing comes with healing comes of revival, restoration, mm -hmm. uh, it brings peace and everything. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that an open heaven translates into physical uh, blessings, into, okay. into, into emotional blessings, into f every blessing which makes our life prosperous and progressive exactly. on this earth. Exactly. So are you saying that heaven controls or heaven influences our life here on earth? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So 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 then um, you most, you spoke of obedience yes. to God, which brings uh, which brings the open heaven. Yes. Uh, what are some of the things? Uh, okay. So heaven must open, yes. but what are some of the things which can cause the heavens to be closed? Uh, I want us to look at some of these things, discuss it, and then perhaps uh, we stand upon that to pray yes. uh, and, and to petition God to do something about it. This let's descend also the atmosphere we are in today yes. and judge whether the heavens are open or the heavens are not open. And then, uh, and then based, upon, based upon that, we're going to uh, discuss what we might do to open the heavens. Okay. 
Okay, but so uh, what are some of the things which can give or cause the heavens to be closed? You spoke closed. of disobedi uh, yes. obedience or disobedience, actually, yes. right? Yes. Um, uh, what are some of the things which can cause that? And how may we recognize when heaven is closed? And yes. let's put it in the context of our nation, yes. the context of our churches, the context of our families. Yes. Because we need to remind ourselves yes. about what can lead to an, a, a short heaven. A short heaven. Yes. Yes. Uh, sin. Sin. Sin is one of the greatest key mm -hmm. to close heaven. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, for instance, if you say you love somebody, yes. you love people, there are people who are, who are saying, even pastors, mm -hmm. let me put this way, even yes. men of God, yes. or Christians, yeah. they will say, yes, we love God, mm -hmm. but we don't love our brother. Mm. But the Bible says, if somebody says that he loves God, but hates his brother, he's a liar. He's a liar. Yeah. So what will make heaven to close, mm -hmm. just as I'm with you now, yeah. We are all men of God. Mm -hmm. And I say, oh, Larry, you are fine, you're right. But after I leave here, yeah, no. now I'm beginning to talk something bad about you. Mm -hmm. That will close heaven. That will close heaven. But if I see you well, that, as my... That will close heaven to who? You or me? Okay, it will close heaven to me. To you, okay. To me. So the one who is uh, on the of, who is causing the offense exactly. will experience the short heaven. Exactly. Because he is not right in his heart. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Mm. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, so sin is one. Is, mm. Sin is one. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also see that unity is one of the greatest key to open heaven. Unity. Unity. Oneness. Amen. You know, love each other as yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, for instance, you say Jesus was baptized. Mm -hmm. And heaven, God spoke from heaven. Yes. Because God knew that Jesus would not disappoint him. Mm -hmm. He knew the heart of Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. So as we are even talking, God knows what will happen. What will you do tomorrow? Yes. He knows our mind. He knows our intents. Uh-huh. So when God begins to see that you have a clear heart, a mm -hmm. pure heart, mm -hmm. then heaven will open wide for you. Uh -huh. And as soon as you open your mouth, God answers your prayers. Hmm. Yes, that's one of the things I've experienced. So unity, yes. obedience to God, unity, that's another we can bring an open heaven. Yes. Um, so if we, we, we are to bring it in the context of our community today, let's say, okay. let's start, let's say the church community. Okay. Can we say that... Uh, we are experiencing an open heaven. What is your assessment of that? Well, I have been to so many churches, uh -huh. including my church. Yeah. But I can see that well, some churches are experiencing. Yeah. So, so it's like it's some experiencing an open heaven. But that yeah. you mean what? Yeah. Uh, in a sense of, uh, for instance, maybe you in a you know if in a service, yeah, you you, you feel the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Because it's the presence of God, mm -hmm. the presence of God that matters. Yes. I don't care how powerful you preach or teach, mm -hmm. but I'm not concerned of the presence of God. God. Because if you are in good terms with God, mm -hmm. uh, even, let me also put it this way, even there are some churches, mm -hmm. individually, yeah. have open heavens. Amen. And there are people also in the same church, they don't have open heavens. Okay, so, so, so yeah. So by that you mean, uh, is it a number of people in the church or, or the presence of God? Uh, the presence of, of God, God. Uh, the, uh, uh, is, is it clear? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, what I mean is, there are some churches yeah. who are experiencing an open heaven. Open heaven. But people in the church in are the not. In the church are not. Are not. And also, you can go to in, into a church, maybe uh -huh. a number of 500. Yeah. Maybe there are a few people there who yeah. are experiencing open the open heavens, heavens yes. but others are not. Uh -huh. Because it determines the, the, the condition of the type of heart that heart you have, people have. That will cause the open to heaven. That will, that will cause the, the heavens. Uh, uh, to be, open. to be open. So, the condition of our hearts are important. Very, very important. Mm. This reminds me of uh, of a scripture in Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Yes. You know, remember that scripture? Um, uh, uh, where after Solomon dedicated the temple and made a petition to God for God to come and dwell in the temple. Yes. Uh, and then God had to give him the conditions upon yes. which he was going to do that. Yes. And also, he spoke about. Uh, 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 if, if it happens that the people turn their back to God, they mm -hmm. sin against God, mm -hmm. and God shuts the heavens. Yes. Maybe we should look at that scripture. Okay. If God shuts the heavens, then something will happen. Mm -hmm. if, if they do that, then God will turn back and uh, open the heavens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. It says in the verse uh, 12, it said, The Lord appeared at night. And said so that is to Solomon. Yes, to Solomon. Uh, it says, I have heard your prayer, and I have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, 
or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. So there are some elements God is mentioning yes. here, which is very important. So it says, uh, 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 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. So prayer is one of the important keys. And, and also humility. Humility. Humble themselves and pray. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And seek my face and turn, and turn. from the wicked ways. So repentance is important here, very which important. you mentioned here. Yes, very uh -huh. important. Now, now, are we able? Now, you said, okay, there are issues that the open heaven can be uh, something localized. Let me put it this way: yes. some people may be having it, and some not yes. in the same city or the same country. Exactly. Okay, so it maybe depends upon the condition of the heart. Yes. Uh huh. Um, but speaking generally, can we say? Um, that we have an open heaven, globally speaking, mm -hmm. over our churches, mm -hmm. over the Christian community, over the city, over the nation, can we really say? And if not, um, what do we see and what can be done about it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That is uh, like what we are doing today. Yes. I believe strongly that when we begin to pray, Amen. God is God of mercy, Amen. God of love. Yes. If we ask God, Father, because he said that whatever we shall say or mm -hmm. ask in the name of Jesus yes. will be granted. Amen. So as we are praying, as we are going to pray this mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. I believe that if we pray fervently from our heart, mm -hmm. God through his mercy mm -hmm. can give us an open heaven. Hallelujah. Not, not, not only individual, but to everybody. To everybody. Even those who have not even who are not Christians. Yes. God can still give them an open heaven. Amen. Because sometimes when he reigns from heaven, mm -hmm. he reigns to everybody. Good and bad. Good, good and bad. <laughs> He's a God of love. So an open heaven, will, God will not show the reign of our once for in the same city, some get it, some get it, don't get it. He makes sure that, that we all benefit. That is the grace of God. Exactly. The mercy of God. That's the mercy of Very God. Very awesome. Very awesome. Okay, shall we go into prayer? Uh, because some of the conditions which we mentioned here is uh, humility, as you said, yes. and then... Uh, Prayer, prayer, and then uh, seeking the face of God, yes. and turning from our wicked ways. Yes, God will give us an open heaven. Yes, an open heaven, and also here uh, the prayer. Yeah, you know he was seen somewhere. I think he say very very. I say unto you, mm -hmm. whoever shall say to this mountain, mm -hmm. be thou removed, uh -huh. and cast into the sea, and shall not no doubt, doubt in his heart, heart. it shall be so. Shall be so. So not only just praying, but also. Praying, mm -hmm. making sure that your heart and your mouth is mm -hmm. in agreement. Uh -huh. Your heart and your mouth is in agreement. Agreement. Uh -huh. That prayer moves mountains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, viewers, we are declaring an open heaven. By, by that, we are saying that it is time for the mercy of God, the goodness of God, to be poured out over our city, over our nation, over our churches. The time has come for the presence of God to be felt. How do you feel? tell people about God and they had in their hearts and they are not interested. And to me, that's a sign of a close heaven. Exactly. Because the fear of God and the love of God is not evident to people. They cannot feel it. They cannot, they cannot tangibly say, yes, the, you know, uh, God is available. Or God is around. Yes. Because rather they contest with God. In the, in the days of uh, the apostles, after the apostles, we realized that the fear of God was tangible because it was so visible people could feel it Praise because God. something was happening yes. in, the, in the society, yes. in the community. There was a powerful move of God Hallelujah. and people were really conscious about how they behaved. Yes. You see, nobody could deny it. The Bible says the fear of God was upon them all and people were added to the church. Amen. But Amen. here we have people contending and even trying to abolish uh, uh, prayer in churches, uh, prayer in schools uh, and uh, open prayers and stuff like that. We are trying to tolerate all kinds of alternative lifestyles and, and, and religions and what have you. Eh? The power of the gospel is, is being uh, slightly diminished. You see? But when, when the heavens are open, I believe that, that the presence of God is so strong and tangible that people have no choice but to, to reference the Lord. Amen. Yes. Do, do you agree with me? I agree with you. Remember what happened in the Eli uh, Acts uh, in the First Kings chapter uh, eighteen, when Elijah confronted the prophets of Baal. Remember the people were in a state of doubt. Yes. They didn't know whether Jehovah was God or Baal was God, God, because Elijah asked them or confronted them, and they didn't say anything. So people can be in this state whereby they don't know who is God, 
whether it's Jehovah or Buddha or this or that, you know, all the other gods you can talk about. But who is who is Jehovah God? Who is the Almighty? Who is who is the highest? Highest. Amen. And this can only be uh, easily demonstrated when the heavens are open. Yes. You don't have to cry. You don't have to beg people no. to come to Christ. We don't have to plead with them and lobby them to come to Christ. But something will be speaking to them. Praise the God. Bible says that you shall hear a voice. You shall hear a voice telling you, this is the way, walk ye in it. Hallelujah. This is the way of holiness, the way of righteousness. Walk ye in it. Amen. 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 I, I want you to pray, please. I want you to pray this morning, and I want you to pray over our nation, Jesus. over the city, over the churches who are in the city. The time has come for the churches to be flooded with people. People yes. must get up every Sunday yes. and decide to go to worship, yes, not Lord. to go to the football stadium or oh. to relax at home or to go on a picnic. Yes, but sir. the time has come for the yes. Sunday which God has dedicated unto himself yes, to be honored. Yes, it says, Lord. honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Yes, so Jesus. the time has come for the presence of God to be felt tangibly. Amen. The time has come Jesus. for heaven to truly open. Amen. Let it not open over a few people, but let it yes. open over everyone. Amen. That the honor which is due unto God must be felt and seen. Man of God, please pray. Yes, pray that Take God shall hear this prayer and, prayer and that God, God do something. That God yes, intervene. That God yes, move. Lord. That God you, glorify his name. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. Father God, uh, we thank you, Lord, this morning oh, yes, yes, yes. for Kata your divine presence there with us. We thank you for the flow of the power. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for giving us the privilege to come before you this morning. Father, with one accord, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray with one heart, we pray with one soul, we yes, pray Shabbat. with one spirit, Shabbat. committing this nation before yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Lord, Holland is your nation. Oh, yes. Touch this nation, yes, Lord. Oh God. Rain the rain of yes, blessing. Yes, oh God. Touch the heart of people. Yes, oh God. Those who had our bed. Yes, oh God. Lord, break it. Yes, oh God. Every stone is hard. Lord God, you will turn our heart of this nation, Lord, into you. Yes, that every boy, every girl, Every man and woman in this nation yes, yes, will turn yes, his heart yes, unto you. Yes, oh God. That there will be a we supernatural open heavens in this nation. That Lord God, peace will be our portion. That the peace of Jerusalem will reign in Holland. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray every satanic power that is preventing people to see the light. Your words say you are the light. And no darkness can overcome the light. So by the power of the Holy Ghost, Father, we pray, Lord, touch the mind of everybody that we're able to hear those who ears have been shut from the gospel. The Lord, as we are praying, open their ears, Lord, that they will hear you. Open their spiritual eyes that they may see you in the name of Jesus from the head to the toe. Call them upon yourself, O Lord. We thank you. We bless you. We glorify you. We believe that as we have asked and prayed, something supernatural has taken place. And from this man, people will run into the church to glorify you and to worship you. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man of God, this is a question I've been asking. I asked it one time on radio. Now, it is not to belittle or to undermine uh as ourselves yes. as men of God. Yes. But it is to honestly assess yes. Eh, yes. the impact of our work with God, yes. the impact of our prayers, okay. the impact of our lifestyles okay. as men okay. and women of God. Yes. You get the point? Yes. Now, I ask the question, okay. how much yes. and how well okay. are, are we praying and what is the impact of the prayer? Okay. What, what is the effect of the prayer? Okay. upon our environment, okay. upon upon the people who are in the land. Okay. This is a question I asked generally okay. to the ministers who were, were uh, at the time with me on the forum. Yes. Now, how do you assess this thing and, and what can be done yes. to make it better? Because I believe that men of God yes. or women of God are representing God to the people yes. and the people to God. Yes. Because we are we are we are more or less like uh, people who are in between. Yes. We take their prayers to God yes. and we intercede on their behalf for yes. God to touch people's lives. Yes. Isn't that true? And that's true. Okay. So we means that if we have power with God mm. and we have influence with man, mm. then we have a, it's a very strategic position mm -hmm. which we have, yes. which must be used and leveraged yes. to bring blessing yes. 
over our people, Amen. over the land. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay, so how can we assess? Okay. How do we assess what Amen. is really the situation? Can we honestly say it is the way it has to be or it still leaves much to be desired and that something should be done? Something should be done. Well, when you look, uh, uh, especially in the Bama, mm -hmm. many, many years ago, yes. uh, things were not going right, mm -hmm. especially in this Bama. Yeah. There were a lot of criminality and people were shooting and others. But you see these days that... It's really it's, gone. It's, it's improved. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's gone. Yeah. So I believe that our prayer is working. Yes. Yeah, our prayer is working. Uh, and I know as time goes on... I, I agree with you on yes. that note. I pray it's working. Mm. It's working very hard. I mm. pray it's working. And there's one thing also I've come to uh, realize is that when we pray about something, yes. uh, we must continue to pray mm -hmm. on part that particular thing. Yes. Me, for instance, if I'm praying that uh, God bring peace, every day I make sure mm -hmm. I will ask God uh, the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, that there are people, uh, I, I met somebody a few years ago, he said, when you tell God, God heal me, you mm -hmm. don't need to acts again because if you say it once and you have faith it's done mm. i believe that but i believe that if you continue to pray yeah god do this god do this mm -hmm. god do this mm -hmm. he will do it he'll do it because somewhere in the bible he say if somebody went to a judge yeah. knocking his door yeah and the judge could not sleep he yeah. has to give a judgment uh-huh so if we connect to ask yes the more we pray mm -hmm. the better the city becomes Hallelujah. the more we pray the more the, uh, the, the, the greater the power Hallelujah. overcomes this nation but I know that things are going well, really. If you compare mm -hmm. now to before, to, be, to before, mm -hmm. things, are changing. things are changing. It means we are doing a great job. Hallelujah. I yes. like that. That's, uh, that's very encouraging for me to hear. We're doing a great job. Okay. Okay. So, so really, I, I agree with you because if you look at South East, yeah. um, the renovations, the changes, which the beauty which is coming into the community, which is it's nice. Yeah. So we can take that to be a sign of an open heaven? Yes. You really? Yes, really. Okay. All right. Okay, and I think also uh, the number of churches that I have come up, you know, over the years, I think that's also a sign. It's also that, good. That, 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 that something is happening. Yes, it's good to have more churches than discotheques and uh, yeah. this cafe bars yeah. and other things. Absolutely. Yeah, so for me, if I, if it was, I, I met somebody and he told too much, too many churches, I said, yeah, that is good. Yeah. Because as for me, I'm praying that we will have even millions of churches in Amsterdam. Hallelujah. Because <laughs> the, 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 the more we become, the better it is. Yeah, that, that we have the, the, the impact to become great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Super, super. Okay. Now, um, you are viewing us, I believe, right now, and uh, we are talking about an open heaven. How open is the heaven over your life, over your situation? And that is why we're here to agree in prayer that the heavens over your life will open. The heavens over your ministry Jesus. will open. Amen. The heavens over your household will open. The Bible makes it clear to us that prayer opens the heavens. Our prayer is that there shall be an open heaven Jesus. over our city, over our nation, over your household in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us a call if you want to agree with us, if you want, to, if you want us to pray with you and agree with you that God shall open the heavens over your life. Amen? But... Uh, one area that I really like the way the, 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 the other um, the explanation you gave concerning the changes, the development which has yeah. come to South East. Uh, but the other part which I'm not sure of uh, right now is um, where you spoke about unity. We don't yeah. have, that is not really quite strong yes. among us. Yes. But, but is that really an, a, a necessary indication of an open heaven? Uh, and also, uh, yeah. we're talking about. Uh, people that's in making new converts mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to the faith. Mm -hmm. How are we succeeding with that? Um, can, we, um, can we compare, can we say that area maybe still needs to break up? We still need to uh, break, break up that side so that it will become what it's supposed to be. Yes. Uh, well, we need to pray more mm -hmm. about that because uh, this nation, you no, know, it is too difficult for the people to come to the kingdom because mm -hmm. they have been blinded. The Bible says they have been blinded by the God of this age, yeah. where people, people are coming, especially yeah. the indigenous. Yeah, yeah. If you look at uh, some of the churches, yeah, uh, the Africans are coming. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I want the Dutch people also to come. Yeah, also, also, they, they, they are also uh, the descendants of Abraham. Yeah, they must also share part of the salvation. Amen. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, the impact is great, but. 
the, the indigenous are not coming. They're not coming. Uh, and yeah. but I, 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 I don't. I, I, I'm not happy about that uh -huh. because they all, must also experience the salvation. All souls belong to God. So yes. I mean, it's not about a, a race or color problem, no. but it has yeah. to do with uh, exactly. uh, people knowing that they are creatures of God exactly. and that uh, everybody has been defiled by sin. Exactly. And that uh, everybody needs to deal with the same problem exactly. and that they must uh, repent, repent and be saved. Exactly. And so this same message which we heard and which touched our hearts, this same message is supposed to touch the indigenous. Yes. That they also may repent and come repent to Christ. And come to Christ. Some actually have Christian backgrounds, but yes. they have forsaken the Lord and they have abandoned their service to God. Yes. And so we need to uh, do something about this, yes. really. Uh, maybe it's not an area we have devoted so much attention and prayer to. Yes. But I think the time has come to do that. Yes, we have to because most of the time people say we claim this nation for God. We believe that we claim it. We confess it. Yet, mm -hmm. when you look around, I see thousands that are not saved. Yeah. So I think we need to uh, intensify our prayers, mm -hmm. uh, specifically on that. Yes. You know that God will touch them. God, you know, if you look at the the, the, the history of Netherlands, mm -hmm. their four forefathers were good Christians. Mm -hmm. They were great powerful men of God. Mm -hmm. But I think the you, the, 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 this generation, mm -hmm. they have forsaken the Lord. You know, the, you know the days. Uh, Okay, let me, I don't want to go on that. Mm. <laughs> if you look at them, I, mm. I, want, I always interview them. Yeah. Some of them, they think because there was a war. Yeah. The second, the second well, war, war, yes. They said if there was war, why should God allow yeah. uh, the many people to, 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 to be killed. killed? Yeah, but, you know. Uh, uh, Sometimes they to, prayed and prayed and God didn't deliver. Uh, you know, God, it, didn't. God knows why he did it. Mm. He always does what is best. Mm -hmm. You can't challenge with God. No. Yeah. That has brought some of them, and you know, some of them have become lukewarm because of that. Mm -hmm. But I think as we pray and uh, get in contact with them, yeah. not only to pray, we must also evangelize them. Mm -hmm. We must speak to them. Mm -hmm. Because he said, if they don't hear the way. How they? So we must try to, uh, really, even if possible, in fact, I like the Jehovah Witness, mm -hmm. if to be how to have evangelism, yeah. for that one, they are doing good. Very, very well. Yeah, if yes. they can be how to have evangelism, you know, mm -hmm. invite them, maybe, maybe a tea party, mm -hmm. then after that, we share the word with them, mm -hmm. pray with them. Mm -hmm. I believe that when we do that, the power of darkness will break from their mind, mm -hmm. and they will come forth to uh, see Christ. Mm -hmm. And when they see Christ, it's also good for us. Sometimes maybe we, may, we need a church building. We don't mm -hmm. even have someone to stand for us. Yeah. So if you begin to know this, yes. maybe they will build more churches. Amen. Because many churches are being pulled, they are being, they are, they are being pulled down. Yeah. But uh, if they are supposed to build more churches, yeah. then we won't have a problem. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we won't have a problem. Absolutely. Maybe even the church himself, if he's a Christian, and he stands there and he wants to give a judgment, he will see that God is... Yeah, so we need people up there also. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we need friends in high places. Yes, we need friends in for high places. For the sake of the gospel. Exactly. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, if you are watching this program, uh, this is uh, Open Heaven Prayer. We're dedicating this time to pray, especially for an open heaven over your life, over your city, over your family, and over your churches and over, over your church and ministry. We are believing God that God's heaven, open heaven, will affect you Amen. and affect and bring a transformation and progress into your life. And the Bible clearly tells us that if we pray, if we call upon God, if we turn from our wicked ways, God will hear from heaven and God will grant our prayer request. So this, upon this basis, we are standing and we are believing God. We are praying that even we have noted, noted that some, some, some blessings have come, but it is not yet up to where it's supposed to be. It can be better than it is. Amen. We need more of God. We need the presence of God to be tangible. Amen. We need the power of God to be felt. Amen. Amen. We, as we cannot necessarily, we, material blessings are good, but we cannot uh, use them to actually uh, uh, um, to unders underscore the fact that we are, we are all blessed or, or under an open heaven. Because the Bible spoke concerning the church in Laodicea, that they had material blessings, but they were naked and they were wretched. Exactly. So th that was a church in the backsliding state. Bus state yes. So I think that there may be an a, a issue of backsliding uh, nature with the, the, the Christ Christendom, mm -hmm. in a way. Yes. Because right people are not pursuing righteousness and they are not following God and serving God the way God must. And there is a compromise here. 
You see, people know there's a God, yeah, okay, but we go to the church every once in a year or twice in a year, and after that we forget about God until the next Christmas or Easter. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. So there's a knowledge of God, but it's, 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 it's not a, a working knowledge of God or a committed knowledge, knowledge of God. So something has to be done. There has to be a repentance. Amen. Just like the, the Israelites knew God was there, but they also began to uh, go after a bow because wow. that was also another God. Yeah. They were trying to see which God was going to be powerful. So <laughs> do you understand the yes, angle which I'm coming from yeah, right now? That's true. So there has to be, to be some kind of repentance, repentance which will touch the heart of God. He will pour out his spirit. Yes. The Pope Peter said, repent. Repent. That ye may receive forgiveness of sins, that times of refreshing may Praise come God. upon you. Amen. When there is repentance, something comes from God. Amen. There is an open heaven. God pours out His Spirit afresh. Amen. And that's what God has promised. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. One of God, I want you to pray again. Yes. Because we all, people must come to the repentance Jesus. and to the knowledge of God. Yes, the Lord. time has come for this lukewarmness to go away. Amen. Material blessings are good. I mean, Jesus. we have peace. God is really merciful to us, oh, I can say. Yes. Because if God will go by all the all the politics that we are playing about church, Jesus. I mean, it will be something else. Yes. But we need hearts to be touched. Yes. We need people to turn, return to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord. I want you to pray, man of God. Yes, Let's Lord. agree. Yes, that Lord. God will hear this prayer. Thank we, Lord. I want us to repent on behalf of the Jesus. people. Repent on behalf of the nation. Yes, Lord. You know, yes. We yesterday uh, we, we remembered those who died during the Second World oh, War. Yes. Uh, and today we celebrate the liberation when yes. the country was liberated. Yes, we want to. We want to. Uh, uh, you know, we want to ask God. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, to, to, I want to appreciate Him for what He did. Yes, but yes. we need more people to come back to Christ. Yes, Lord. We need people to, to repent yes, Lord. And, 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 to, and to begin to serve God. We need lukewarmness to be taken out of our lives. Yes, we need every form of ungodliness to disappear Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Yes, Lord. Please pray, man of God. Let's hold our hands and agree and agree, yes. and agree that it shall be, yes, Lord. that there shall be some come tangible down. changes yes, Lord. in the spiritual realm, Jesus. in the hearts of people. Jesus. Please go ahead and pray. Eternal God of salvation, <laughs> to you be the glory. <laughs> May your kingdom be established. That are the power in the kingdom. Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning that you are with us. You are a prayer answering God. Father, as we have joined our heart together, Lord, we are praying once again for this nation. You are the God of yesterday. The God of today, the God of forever, you are the I am that I am. You change the situation and conditions. Lord, all heart belongs to you. You are the flesh, you are the owner of all flesh. I pray committing everybody, Lord, in this nation before you. Father, rain the spirit of repentance into your people. Your word say it's not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. Lord, as we are praying, let heaven open. Lord, touch heart of men and women. That men and women will change their mind, change their heart, change their soul, change their spirit to know your Lord. The Lord, goodness and mercy will begin to follow people. Lord, because after repentance, we know there's a restoration. Lord, as people are prepared to repent, let there be a restoration, both physical and spiritually. Father, we know that the natural things will pass away. The physical thing will pass away. But the spiritual things are buried forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us from heaven. Spiritual blessings. Lord, salvation is our portion. Deliverance is our portion. Healing is our portion. Good living is our portion. Good health is our portion. Father, in the name of Jesus, we believe and we know that when salvation comes, it's a package. There is everything in salvation. Prosperity is in salvation. Love is in salvation. Anything that we need in salvation. So Lord, touch the heart of men and women alone. That at this morning, as we are praying, Lord God, the repentance, Lord, will take out the control of the life of people. We thank you, we bless you. We give you glory. We honor you this morning. We believe that, Lord, as we have spoken, you have answered. And from today, we're going to see a change in this nation. From today, we're going to see a change at schools. From today, we're going to see a change in companies. From today, we're going to see a change in many institutions. But we believe that your prayer answer in God. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We exalt you. You are the king of kings. You are the lord of lords. You are the prince of peace. You are the prince of life. You are the Messiah. You are the Alpha and Omega. We believe the Lord. You have answered our prayers. We thank you. We worship you.
will bless you, will magnify you. Even in this studio, Father, we pray. Everyone that will come across this area, if the person not repented, let the person be repented. In the name of Jesus, I commit the Christians in this nation before you. Those who are in the church, but not yet repented. Those who are lukewarm. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, revive them. Lord, revive them. Lord, revive them. Touch them, Lord, that they may return into you, Lord. Lord, we are well says, if your people will hear to you and hug into your voice, you shall, Lord, heal the land. Lord, God, help us to walk according to your will, to live in a righteous life, so that our lifestyle will even affect this nation. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, man of God. Thank you Amen. so very much. Well, you are watching uh, Open Heaven Prayer live on Majestic Christian Television. The, the God, uh, in fact, if I should be specific, Jesus Christ has given us the mandate. Just go ye into all the world and preach the good news to every creature. And whoever believes shall be saved. And so we have this commission to bring the message. And the Bible says this gospel shall be preached to the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come. Everyone must have a witness and must have a testimony of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And that is the task we have, man of God. And that's the task we are carrying out. And we know that it's not been easy sometimes. Sometimes people listen, sometimes they don't listen. Uh, but we still are going forward. And so I believe one of the signs of an open heaven is when we are breaking through with the gospel exactly. and that people are reaching uh, you know, the four corners of the earth or the four corners of the nation uh, with the gospel. Yeah. Amen. There might Amen. be oppositions, but still, yeah. it's going forward. Amen. For, Paul has storms on the way, but he didn't stop him from going further to preach the gospel. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, um, before uh, we finish uh, this segment, um, I want us to, and this is just, you know, a thought I'm just having. I, I did think about it a few days back. You know, um, uh, what would you say? You are from the Church of Pentecost, and yes. Church of Pentecost is a very large uh, organization, you know, worldwide. Yes. And 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 honestly, it's it's an impressive uh, uh, church community, and we're grateful to God for Amen. for the way the Lord is using uh, the Church of Pentecost um, in this end time. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, missions, the 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 the, the dedication yes. or the devotion of churches <coughs> to to bringing out the message. Okay. Now. If you look at, let's look at, I, I always like to look at where we are right now, the, where we are based, the location, what we are doing, yeah. what are, whether, what, whether it is it is what it's supposed to be. For example, I'm thinking of missions, that is uh, the taking out of the gospel, yes. the investment in the preaching of the gospel. How much are we as, as a church community or churches together, or churches individually <coughs> devoting to this one, because we are just talking about the indig indigenous coming into the in the church community. Yes. It's not happening the way it's supposed to. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So can we say that our missions policy, our mission strategy, uh, as as a body, is effective? Is working? Can we say there's an open heaven over that area? Well, there is, but there has to be more. There has to be. We more. have to put more effort in it. Uh, uh huh. Yes. So, yes. Uh, like. Just as I was saying, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, this year I was very happy uh -huh. because you can see that things have started changing uh -huh. in the Christian community. Okay. There's been a unity. Unity? Yes. Amen. Because like uh, when Eastwood was here, yes. pastors came, came together. together. But before when Eastwood comes, you don't see anybody. Yeah. And before the, P P the PCC conference, because yeah. yeah. yes. you know, you see that people are participating yes. now. Yes. And I believe that through this one, uh -huh. through what we are doing, yeah. uh, Things are going to be changed. Amen. The indignance, God will touch them. And then they will join us. They will because join they will us. see that we are one. Jesus said, exactly. when people see that you are one, one. they will know that you are my disciple. Exactly. So, uh -huh. no matter what we are doing, we bring them. Amen. Uh, and because, because, not only that, because we are also praying. Uh -huh. uh, since we have been praying. Yeah. You no, know, because prayer, prayer is like fire. Yeah. You know, the more you hit it, yeah. the more it, 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 it breaks it the, the part of darkness. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. because I know that now, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, God is softening their hearts. Heart. And maybe two to three years time, they will run into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Some of them have started coming. Amen. We have PRWC in our place. Uh -huh. A lot of Dutch men there. Where we is have, that? Yeah, here in Amsterdam. No, we have two services here. Oh, in English and uh, yeah, Dutch. Yeah, in the morning uh, from 9, uh, between 9 and 12, is uh -huh. English and Dutch. 
Okay. Yeah, so we have a lot at of company. Yeah, they are really? company. And even in Den Haag, I yeah. had uh, one Dutch elder, very powerful. Amen. Called uh, Mr. Bone, Elder Bone. Wow. Yes. Then the yeah. Lord is moving. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So they are coming. Amen. <laughs> yeah, coming. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so you are saying something is happening, but more can happen. Yes, more can happen. Okay. So then I think it would be nice to, for us to invest some prayer. Uh, and make some declarations yeah. over this area because yes. our success as Christians is in is in being able to uh, carry out the commission which Jesus gave us. Exactly. Eh? That the gospel shall be preached to all creature, yes. all creature, before the end comes. And so, speaking of the mission strategy, uh, I, I think we should pray. Yes. The other churches also will begin to look outward mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or make uh, or become open, open. for. Uh, for 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 the indigenous to be able to find us, what about we are? Yes, you know, we should only speak speak in tree or, uh, or English, or yes. you know, we should be able to speak the language that people can understand, so that yes. what they need exactly. in the gospel can can come to them. Yes, they can find it with us. Exactly. Hallelujah. Exactly. That means we have to learn the Dutch too. We have to learn the Dutch also, yes. so we can speak to them, to them in the also. language they can understand. Yeah. Because under what I see is in our yeah. place, yeah. Um, uh, when they come, yeah. when we begin to translate, you know, mm -hmm. I, I preach in English, yeah. they translate to Dutch, Dutch yeah. but you can see that the people, yeah. they, they, when they begin to see the Dutch, they, yeah, love, they love it. Yeah, yeah, they love it more than yeah. even the English. Yeah, So because it, they, they can hear, it more, they can clearly hear it more clearly what is being said. Yeah, so, I, so it is oh, very wow. good also for us. So I'm still, uh, I, I'm, I'm busy taking my deck. That's no, also. Okay. So I'm praying that God will give them the wisdom, the yeah. ability, so that to learn it quickly, to learn and quickly, and then sort of be able to preach in their Oh, hallelujah! Amen. God is busy. Yeah, God is busy. Amen. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Amen. Well, we're going to one more time declare. I, w I want to declare over the city, over the nation, over the churches that Amen. there shall be a fire Amen. from heaven, Amen. which will fall to engulf us and to ignite the passion Amen. for evangelism Jesus. for missions yes, that we all shall become a, a passion with with the with the desire to pray Amen. Uh, sorry to, to evangelize prayer evangelize, of course yes. but also to evangelize too that when we speak the word Jesus. that it shall catch fire people it shall burn in the hearts of men yes. hallelujah yes. let's agree one more time and declare that prayer and Father, in Jesus' name, yes, we are praying that the heavens open over Amen. us, Amen. over our churches. Amen. Father, we long to see more things happen. We want to see that our doors open wider Amen. for people to come in, Amen. people of all races and all colors and of all, of all, of all backgrounds, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in Jerusalem, Jesus. on that day, there were yes, people from all over the world yes, who Lord. partook uh, of the blessings which came Jesus. down from heaven. Amen. We are asking, oh God, Jesus. that there shall be a repeat in this season. Amen. That men and women Jesus. from all nations, oh Lord, Lord, shall be touched by the gospel. Amen. They shall receive the, an impartation of Amen. the gospel Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. We pray Jesus. that there shall be an open heaven Amen. over our churches, oh Lord. Jesus. That men and women shall troop in yes, and Lord. to confess Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. We pray that that the heaven shall open. Amen. We pray the heaven over Amsterdam shall open. Amen. The heaven Thank over Lord. Holland shall open. Amen. That the gospel shall go forth. Amen. We pray that people in high places of Jesus Lord, shall receive conviction. Amen. Father, Thank let Lord. them desire Jesus. to listen to us Amen. that we may preach the uncompromising word of God. Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. for in you is life, yes, and Lord. in and in this life uh, is the light of man. Amen. We pray that this message of God Jesus. shall not be shall not be stuck all of, only within the four walls of our churches, yes, but the time has come Jesus. for the whole city, the whole nation, yes, to Lord. hear your word Thank and to Lord. believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray that you will open heavens of us, Amen. that we shall declare Christ and Him crucified. Yes, to Lord. the four corners of this nation, Amen. that all people Jesus. will begin to Jesus. come to the cross uh, yes, and to bow their knees to Jesus. Jesus we man. pray the strongholds uh, which Jesus. are we holding, which are trying to stop, which are yes, trying to Lord. limit, as uh, shall be broken. Amen. Wherever Amen. is a stumbling block, wherever is a limiting force, Jesus. we pray this morning yes, that Lord. the heaven shall open, Amen. that the heaven shall open, Amen. that the heaven shall open, Amen. that your spirit shall be poured Jesus, out afresh man. upon Amen. all flesh. Amen. Amen. 
according to your word Jesus. that we shall all Amen. say let us go to the house of the Lord Amen. we pray Jesus. there shall be a change Jesus. there shall be a transformation Jesus. from Amen. the top Amen. to the very least person Amen. in the ladder Amen. the fear of God Amen. shall be poured up Amen. the fear of God Jesus. shall be poured up Amen. the presence of God Jesus. shall be evident Amen. shall become manifest Jesus. to all Lord. in Jesus name Amen. we pray Holy Ghost Jesus. that you will come again you, you will visit us again Amen. you will intensify Amen. your presence and power are fresh and are new over us over us over Amen. us over the city over the nation Jesus. over the church Amen. over the body of Amen. Christ we pray that Jesus. shall be fresh Amen. power fresh Amen. fire fresh Amen. power Amen. fresh fire Amen. fresh power Jesus. fresh fire Amen. for Holy Ghost Thank we you need Lord. you at this Jesus. time we are asking Lord. you said if we pray Jesus. and if we ask we shall receive yes, we Lord. pray that it shall be so Amen. we pray that the mountain of unbelief Jesus. the mountain of doubt Jesus. the mountain of God of, of wickedness Jesus. shall be removed Amen. the mountain of lukewarmness Jesus shall be removed. Amen. The mountain of disunity Amen. shall be removed. Amen. The mountain of lack of finances Jesus. shall be removed. Amen. Whatsoever is a stumbling block, Jesus. whatsoever is a limitation, Jesus. the time has come Kodabasaya. for it to be removed. Yes, we Lord. pray, we pray Thank that you, there Jesus. shall be a breakthrough. Amen. The open heavens shall be strong, Amen. shall be strong, Amen. shall be fell, shall be felt, shall, shall be tangible. Amen. We pray that the Jesus. heavens, the heavens, yes, the Lord. heavens of our city, you, the Jesus. heavens of our churches, Amen. the heavens of our families, Amen. Amen. Shall be open. Amen. Shall be open. Amen. We pray a breakthrough. Jesus. We pray a major breakthrough. Amen. We pray a special breakthrough. Amen. We pray a definite breakthrough. Amen. We pray in Jesus' name Amen. that the limitations shall be removed. Jesus. We pray a powerful a pouring yes, Lord. of the Holy Ghost Amen. over us, over us, Amen. over our nation, Amen. over our families, Amen. over our churches. Amen. Let them come. Let it be. Let Jesus. it be. Let it be. Let it yes, begin Lord. to happen. Amen. Let that open heaven Jesus. begin. Begin. Amen. Let it be felt. Let it be tangible. Amen. Let it let it, let it be. Let it let us receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And we call it done, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, there's much more for us to enjoy in the kingdom of God. And we are asking you to be a part of this as we pray, as we proclaim an open heaven over this land, over our households, over our churches. It will affect you. We are praying for your blessing. So be a part of this. Give us a call as we proceed and you know give your input. And let's stand together and pray that something will change. Yes, we know some things are changing. But it can be better, it can be better and better. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Anaba, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Thank you. And I think you're going to skip right now. Exactly. Well, I want to release you so you can thank take you. your guests to the airport. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you back on Majesty Christian Television. All right. Well, viewers, uh, we will take a short break and then we'll come back. But in the meantime, please stay, stay tuned. We'll come back to continue the open heaven prayer. We are praying for the heavens Hallelujah. over your life to open. See you soon. Stick around.